Hello, this is the part three of the real world trick shots series. And this time I will teach you what really happens in a trick shot. Okay, many people don't know what will happen, okay? But I will show you here. Here are uh, two balls, okay? They are stuck together, okay? This is the basic part of learning uh, to make trick shots, okay? But in the real world, you need to understand that if the balls are pointing straight in, they are stuck together. Both balls are stuck together, they are pointing exactly straight. I will put them further away so you see that you see, so you, so you see the effect. Okay. Now they are pointing straight in, okay? And if the cue ball will hit the two ball. From this side, the three ball will throw and hit the rail there. And if you hit the cue with the cue ball on the other side of the two ball, the three ball will go there instead. You see that you can miss the pocket if you hit, uh, depending on, on what, what side you will hit the two ball, you will miss the pocket there. Okay? So now, if you have dirty cue balls, the, the effect is much bigger, there's more throw. But with clean cue balls, like now, the effect is smaller. Okay? So I will show you what will happen with clean cue balls, okay? I will hit the cue ball on, from this side. You see? I still missed it, okay? Even with clean cue balls, even with all the balls are clean, okay? I miss it badly, badly, because I hit uh, from the side of the two ball, okay? is very very interesting you, you you can you can try it yourself when you play and you, you'll see the big difference okay they're pointing pointing straight it's difficult to make them stay where they are but okay now it is straight in and I will show you how it hits from this side of the two okay let's see what, what will happen yeah I missed it you see it should have gone straight in, but I miss it here because, because of throw, okay? And that, is, that is the basic thing you need to learn in a trick shots about throw, okay? So, when, when you set up the balls, when you make a trick shot, you, you need to compensate for that, okay? So if you, if you add another ball, okay, let's have a three, three balls, you, you have three balls. And depending on where you put this ball, you need to angle this uh, to compensate for throw. So if you put the two ball here, you actually need to uh, compensate by aiming the four ball here, okay? When you, if you put the two ball there, okay? And now what, what will happen is that the four ball will go in the pocket. It will, it will go straight in the pocket, even if I'm aiming, I'm actually aiming here. That is where I'm aiming, okay? and it should make the four ball go in. So, uh, if you have three balls stuck together, it is impossible to decide the th to uh, change the throw. The, if you can hit the, with the cue ball there, 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 or there, any side of the two ball and the four ball will go exact, exactly the same direction, okay? So you are only able to change, change the throw by hitting this, this three ball. The second ball here. So if the, this ball is already stuck, it doesn't matter where you hit the cue ball, it will go exactly the same. But you are still, of course, able to hit with the cue ball on the three ball on this side. But now you need to hit the two ball because it's, this is ten ball. So you must hit, you must hit the lowest number ball first. So it doesn't actually matter at all what what side of the two ball you will hit with the cue ball if you have three balls stuck together. But if you have only one, uh, two balls stuck together, then it matters on what, what side you will hit with the cue ball, like I showed before. Okay, so let's put the two balls there. And uh, all balls are already touching. And now I'll hit the two ball and the, the four ball should go in. Okay, I need to shoot harder now because 
It's a catch up. Let's, let's put it there. Otherwise, I don't get much much speed on the four ball. So now, yeah, let's point it like this. Yeah, it doesn't want to stay. That is why they want to hammer the balls in the claws. But that is not good for the claws. So now I'm aiming to miss here. This, this uh, three and four are aimed to hit that part of the cushion there. So now I will, when I hit the two ball, even from this side, the four ball should go in. Okay, let's do that. I need to shoot hard now. Yeah, and you saw four ball went in, and it was aimed. The, the three balls were uh, aligned so that it, the four ball would miss, but because of throw, it went straight in the pocket, okay? So that is uh, something you can use in the real world, but it doesn't, doesn't really happen often at all. It happens very rarely, so I don't think you should really practice uh, that, okay? You, you should just understand what is happening, okay? So many times, many times you see uh, two balls stuck together, Two balls stuck together, and then, then you can decide to play position either on this side or on this side of the of those two balls. So so you can throw in the ball properly. Okay. So let's do it again. Let's say we have three and four here. We have the two ball here. The, this these balls are angled. Are angled to miss. To miss the pocket there. They're angled like that, okay? They don't want to stay. They are yeah, they're angled like that, okay. So on what what side? He, we have a ball in hand here, okay, on the two ball, ball in hand. Let me chop the cue. Ball in hand. So of course the beginner doesn't 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 know what what will happen, okay? But you will know what will happen, okay? So you play position with the cue ball to this side of these balls, okay? Because that will make the four ball go in, you see? So you have ball in hand, you play, play here with the cue ball, okay? Yeah, with knowledge you can win. And this is a quite a small trick shot, okay? Small trick shot because you know the throw, okay? You know the throw. So you are, you are on this side of these balls and the four ball will go in okay now you just need to play position for the three ball after but three ball looks like it will go somewhere there so you go around the table with the cue ball yeah the five is a problem okay five is a problem so maybe on this this shot you will just uh, yeah hit the three ball into the five to make it stop there okay let's let's try this yeah you see that perfect Four ball went in, position on the three ball, three ball hit the five. So there's a, there's a double trick shot there, double trick shot. We made the, made the throw combination. Three ball hit the five, made it stop there. Cue ball stopped here in the center of the table. We have a good shot on the three ball and this game is over, okay? Game is over. And that is how you can win with trick shots if you know, if you understand what is happening with the physics. Okay, practice, practice that at home and you can make your own trick shots. And this is the end of the video. Subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.